Well, <laughs> welcome back. We are going to do a Q&A. So I thought of some good questions for Jason, and I don't know the answers to all these questions, so it might be fun. He didn't want to know the questions beforehand. They're going to be a surprise. Surprise. And this is kind of serious questions. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, first question, and maybe I'll answer it. And I'm sorry if you hear the noise of our dogs wrestling in the background. Shh. And the cat has seen because they're hyper before they go to bed. Why don't you guys go to bed? Go to bed. Go to your kennel. Shh. Good Luke. Luke listens. He's very obedient. Leah just looks at go us and wags her tail with her ears up and like, huh? Huh? You talking to me, Mom? Talking to me? Go to bed. Okay. You ready? You're focused, Jason? Go. Oh, shake the camera. Okay. So, number one. Why did we, or why did you... Start losing weight. Because I'm big and I am not the healthiest. I have high blood pressure and I want to be able to be healthy for my family, for my boys. I want to be able to exercise with them and to just live longer. Live longer, yeah. I think for us this summer, um, Jason's uncle passed away of um, some health issues that we, I think, could probably could have been um treated with his weight being under control he had diabetes and a few other things and that was a shocker because jason is pretty close looking to him and he was only 40 something right no he was 50 50 something 50 something but still that's really young to die early in life and he has you know kids that he left behind and a wife to deal with it and just put me into like a shock and understanding that life is short and mm -hmm. you know we're in our mid 30s and 50 is around the corner and I want to be healthy and you know I want to go do things with my family I think this summer was a big besides that we went on some vacations and not be able to fit on some of the rides with my little kids you know the kid rides not being able to fit on them or and having to get off the ride because of that that was a big public like show of like wow i am um getting heavy mm -hmm. plus we also have a family thing went on and we got we did professional pictures and to see those pictures really made me want to cry. It did cry. I did cry once. Um, seeing those pictures and it made me see me at the heaviest. But at least I have those pictures now to look back on and be like, look at me. I'm skinny now. Okay. That was the old me. That was the old me. <laughs> I'm getting skinnier. Okay. Number two. Why we are, or why did you choose Weight Watchers instead of any other plan? Well, I saw the progress that you have made and the chance that I have to, to follow you and to help support you and you support me. and I mean, it seems like it's working so far. I'm liking it. You like the Weight Watchers? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about Weight Watchers that you like so far? I like that I can Sorry, I monitor too. what I eat and keep track of what I eat and know when I need to stop. When I have no more points or when I need to eat something that's a free a free food or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Zero point food. <laughs> and so I mean it's it's just it's just easier to to monitor your intake. Mm -hmm. As opposed to just cutting back, which I have done before. Mm -hmm. Worked really great, but um it's kinda hard to do now. So is Weight Watchers easier than cutting calories and stuff like that for you? Or... It, it takes a little bit more dedication for Weight Watchers. Uh-huh. Because I, I can go cold turkey and a lot of stuff, but, but to do that now is really hard when I have to worry about, you know, having food in the house, not, for, not just for myself, but for my whole family, for my mm -hmm. boys, and, and to make sure that they're happy and that I'm happy. And so it is it is a easier option in that aspect that we're still able to have food in the house mm -hmm. and that I'm able to watch what I eat while I have healthy options one thing I like about Weight Watchers is that you know you can have stuff and still be in your point system you know other diets that I've tried like for instance like low carb I couldn't have any carbs really and for me to have a piece of cake I just felt 
like really awful afterwards, you know, about it that I went off the bandwagon, but also my body felt awful. And then, you know, eventually I gained all the weight back, you know, and this is more of a lifestyle where it teaches me that things will come up, you know, like for instance, we just had, you know, um, Halloween, you know, candy and Thanksgiving's coming up, how to, to treat my body, you know, to have, treat it and also to have, to lose weight at the same time. Right. So, sorry. Um, let's see. What goals are you wanting to set for yourself this month of November? This month? Well, I hope to lose 10 pounds this month. Mm -hmm. I think that's an achievable goal. One thing I learned is you need to set goals that are achievable, not that are outlandish. I'm going to fit into a size 32 pants by the end of this month. Ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I want to lose more weight. I want to see, I want to see progress mm -hmm. in the way I feel. I want to see progress on the scale. I want to have more activity. I want to get our bikes all ready. I thought I had them all ready, but Wendy's bike here, it has some issues with some of the tires. Yeah. But I want to go on bike rides. I want to go on walks, more activity with the family. I mean, that's mm -hmm. something that I really want to do this month. Yeah. But you're also... He has something going on with his foot that's giving him problems. What is it called, babe? Plantar fasciitis. So Not he, fun. His foot is hurting quite a bit because of it. It's spasms. It's a tendon, right? Is yes, it a tendon? it's something down there. Something there, and so it throbs, and I don't know, you tell me what it feels It just like. hurts every now and then when I'm walking, or when, especially when I get up in the morning and or if I've been sitting for a while. I mean, I drive a lot, and so I... That's it. It's a sitting down a lot, and then when I get so up, it it's just it's sore. It's your driver's foot, right? And my driving foot, and my right foot. <laughs> There's tank again. Um, so let's see. Um, I think for me, just to talk. Um, my goal, um, is to lose ten pounds again, but um, just to keep going on because my ultimate goal is in December. So for me to get to December's goal, I have to achieve at least, I want to lose at least seven pounds this, um, cause I want to lose 11.6 for the next two months, um, total to be my 50 pounds. So that's that. My goal too is to loop, get smaller, of course, but that's with losing weight and that's just if my body chooses to. Um, I noticed that my you know you're being when you're really really heavy weight like even though you lose 20 pounds like you don't really go down a pant size too much so um it'll be interesting to to finally keep going down pant sizes i've gone down you know almost two pant sizes already but um i've never you know i've been in this kind of this size for a long long time um you know i don't remember probably before i had jacob which he's six I haven't been that tiny. You know, when we first met, I was a size 18, and I would love to be a size 18 again, or even smaller. That'd be fabulous. <laughs> so, um, but a goal of mine, drink more water for me, because I am, like, I keep saying, I'm gonna drink more water every day, and I'll drink, like, 32 ounces right in the morning, and then I slowly give up. Also, another goal is mine um, is drink one soda a day. Um, the 12 ounce cans is just to drink one a day. Um, that's a goal of mine is to get less soda and more water. I also put some of the water enhancers to make it taste yummy. Um, mm. So, but that's my goal is to lose weight, drink more water, and of course, you know, be more active. You know, walking and stuff like that. But I mean, I don't want to. I don't know, every, before I've gone on diets and I've exercised a lot and I lose weight and like I quit in like two, week, two weeks and I kind of am scared of that still. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of think, well, if I can lose weight for a while of just eating right then and add a little bit of activity, I'll be fine. I'm just afraid if I just go do everything that I'm just going to burn out fast and say or be like I'm disappointed because I didn't do it and then quit mm -hmm. and I don't want that yeah, to happen. Yeah, gradual change is what we need. Yeah. On a side note, she's focusing on water intake. Today, <laughs> I was forced to oh. have water intake. <laughs> 40 ounces in half an hour is not fun. <laughs> Why did you have to do that, hon? I got a random drug test from the federal government 
stuff that happens with the bus driving job and get they're called random pulls and every now and then they pick your name and you have to go down without notice and do a drug test <laughs> and the funny thing is they gave me the notice right after I went to the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> and so I got there and I had to just drink 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 until I was able to to go <laughs> to the bathroom and, and take the test uh. and so it's good and bad yeah <laughs> okay let's see what is a non-scale victory for that you've noticed in the last few weeks? My belt that I have, my big boy belt, Batman, is getting too big for me. Uh-huh. I've got to the point where the it's a ratcheting belt, really great belt, a mission belt. Look it up, really awesome. Amazon. Amazon. It ratchets instead of has like the little instead of having the hole in the in the class or whatever they're called. But it ratchets closed and it, it's all the way to the last little little clicker. And so that's that's a victory for me. So we're going to have to fix the belt or cut some of the leather off or get you a new belt. Get a new one or something, yeah. yeah. They weren't very, how, how am I? Oh. I'm the one that gave them for Christmas. It was like 40 bucks or something. 40 bucks, but there was on sale because the big boy one's more expensive, of course. But More leather, more cow. Um, but it wasn't that bad. So I just put it on my Christmas list for, um, and all of a sudden one day it said, oh, it's on sale. So I bought it then. Okay. Um, non-scale victory for me, I notice, I, you know, you mentioned, I've mentioned that, you know, people are starting to notice I'm losing weight. My clothes that were, um, a size 3X are getting small. I'm too big. So I got rid of like maybe eight shirts this week. So that's a non-scale victory. I'm cleaning out my closet so I can make room for some new ones. What? What? Don't worry. <laughs> we'll be going like Goodwill shopping and stuff like that. Um, let's see. What is the, um, what is the, uh, or what's the, uh, the least, I don't know, I wrote down this question. What is the least favorite part of your weight loss journey? Easiest part? Or easiest. Yeah, let's do easiest. That's what it says. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is the easiest part of the weight loss journey? Mm, eating more fruit and vegetables. That's something I've always wanted to do, especially at my job. I have to take a lunch with me, and uh, my lovely wife here made me get a giant lunch box to giant. pack more fresh food. Mm -hmm. And and so it's 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 a lot easier to do. And when she helps me out and prepackages it, and so I can just grab it and throw it in there. It it's it's I mean I love it. I will snack as I'm driving or you know on my break. Mm -hmm. I'll grab some carrots or celery, and a lot of times I don't even need anything to dip it in. I mean, that's I, I like it. It mm -hmm. tastes good. Easy. Easy mm -hmm. snacks, easy food. I think for me, now, being on Weight Watchers, it's just eating. Like, I don't have to second guess what I'm eating and what the points are. But first, it was hard. It's a little intimidating. You have the first kind of, like, honeymoon phase of the thing. But I think just to get started. Like, to me, it was like I was so determined. Like, it was in my mind that I'm going to do this because of you know, X, Y, Z, and I'm determined to do it. And, um, I, you know, I want to be at my goal weight before I'm 35. Like I'm determined of that. So, um, also I really, we want to have, I, you know, we both want to have kid number three. And so I'm determined to be healthy for the next pregnancy. Also, I really want to be like show that I am pregnant because it's it's hard for girls that are plus size and get pregnant and people don't really notice that you're pregnant. They might be like, oh, her belly's a little bit weird shape, but like don't think anything about it. So yeah, that's another thing. Okay, what advice do you um um do you have for others trying to lose weight? Advice for others. Mhm. Mm mm, don't give up. Mhm. Mm Keep going. I mean, it's. It's a benefit that lasts a long time if you keep with it. Mm -hmm. I think, too, like, don't give up. If you have a bad day or you eat a piece of candy or something or, you know, you were tempted, don't beat yourself up because that's what we do to each other. Um, take the compliments and run with them, I think, too, because people are going to give you compliments and people are going to also be mean and say something or try to, like, 
make you eat that piece of cake or something and you know stay strong and not do it Jason you're not helping the situation I'm serious here so uh, anyways but like you know be proud of who you are and don't I made a quote I wrote a quote down on Instagram today it's like don't be oh, I can't even quote it correctly but um just be who you are and you know don't be afraid of your story because your story is going to inspire others and I truly believe that that you know it's just me and if I can lose weight then anyone can you know you hear that expression but it's true like you know it's hard it's really hard and there's so many temptations and but you know it once you start going you know it's it gets easier and easier right a lot of people say they don't have time to to lose weight because they're too busy with work school family life i mean but you know we're both working full time and Mm -hmm. parents and you know i get home by 8 30 every night leave the house super early and it's it's still working yeah it's a it's a journey and it's it's an adventure Mm -hmm. to seeing what we can do to better ourselves losing weight getting healthy and like she says don't doubt yourself another thing is too like a lot of people think you have to have a lot of money to lose weight and we're not rich we're we're not and like i always thought well to buy fruits and vegetables you have to have a lot of money to have fresh produce in your house to be rich but again if you can't have all that fresh produce you can have frozen you can have um you know just portion control there's a lot of other things to do and you don't have to be on weight watchers we're on both on online weight watchers and that's the the cheapest plan that there is but it's working it's working great we have each other i mean i have youtube i have connect all these wonderful tools that help us out to be motivated and not to stay focused but um so yeah that's um that sorry my cat <laughs> i went to reach for this and i must frighten the cat um let's see uh do you like being on weight watchers as a guy um i never thought of there's a difference between guy and girl and being weight watchers um well ratio wise there's more girls that join weight watchers and do a weight loss plan mm-hmm. than men so uh, it's just I like being on Weight Watchers if that's answers the question. I mean, it's working. Like I said, mm-hmm. it's it's. I've seen results, and so I'm happy with that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't feel different being a guy on Weight Watchers. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know there are some. Mm-hmm. Like you said, I mean, there's there might be more women than guys on Weight Watchers, but I'm one of those guys, and it Yee! works. I'm glad that you're doing it with me. You know, with Weight Watchers and. You know, it's kind of nice that we do the same plan together, you know, um, and always it's worked for me, even though life has happened and I've had to quit for this and this, and I just, like, it's always killed me because he's always heard me, you know, when it comes to my birthday or Mother's Day, you know, I've cried because, like, I needed to buy new clothes so I would gain weight, and I didn't want to because I wanted to lose weight, and he's always, you've always been supportive of me, you know, and... You know, we've just been on a slippery slope of just gaining more weight over, you know, the last years, you know. And now let's, we're going on a slippery slope downwards. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, Jay, do you have any questions for me? Mm, no. No? No. You haven't had time to think about this. I, I did not. It, these are always a surprise for me. <laughs> let's answer these questions on the face. Time well, camera thingy. No, you don't post pic- v- videos. He says he's always going to do videos. I, I try and do them, but I forget how to do them. And every time I do it, I mess it up. And... Well, I want people to know more about you and more about, you know, questions that they might have, especially men, you know, because there's a lot of women out there that have videos. And I'm not saying it's bad because I love you all and I watch you all all the time. But, you know, m- men that are thinking about doing this might have questions. And so I thought this might be a great opportunity for them to hear your side and get to know you and stuff so well, i tell you what if anybody asks a question i will answer it on a video there we go challenge challenge who's willing to accept hmm, hmm. okay well that's it for our q a tonight um we have our weigh-ins are on sundays Woo-hoo! so you'll see us sunday morning um talk to you about that anyways you guys have a great day and We're going to have a fun night. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.